I'm heading out to take pictures today. Um, I'm actually going local, just a spot here in Orange County called Cleveland National Forest, and there's a trail up there called the uh, Chibico Canyon Trail. And there's a very interesting old car uh, rusting out in the middle of the forest up there. It's probably from the 1930s or something like that. And uh, I've actually photographed it a few times before. I did it with um, digital, and then before that, way back when, I did some 35 millimeter film of it. But I wanted to head out with my medium format camera. Uh, I'm bringing my Mamiya RZ67, as well as my Mamiya 6 rangefinder camera. And uh, I want to see how it's going to look on black and white film and color film. And while I'm up there, I'm probably going to get a few shots of the trees and, and various things like that. But just load up my gear now and then uh, be ready to hit the road. The drive out to the trailhead here is probably one of the prettiest drives in Orange County. It's this winding road with real old oak trees just arching over the road so you're kind of driving through a tunnel of trees and uh, it's really beautiful. And this whole area up here, Chibuco Canyon, is like kind of the last vestige of undeveloped Orange County. So uh, it hasn't really been claimed by tract housing and shopping centers. Um, yet anyway but uh, for now it's a beautiful drive and it's nice to get out on a Monday and just uh, enjoy the scenery well I made it to the trailhead Really uh, bumpy ride coming in as it always is. Once you hit the dirt road portion of this drive, it's, it's pretty slow going. So, got my gear, trailhead's right over there. It's time to get going. This area of Tribuco Canyon is a real hidden gem in Orange County. Uh, it's pretty secluded out in the middle of nowhere, beautiful oak trees, lots of wildlife. Uh, you really can get out here and feel like you're not in Orange County anymore. I feel like you're out in the woods, so. Best thing about it though is the car I want to get to, the old rusted out car, is only a couple minutes hike into the trail. So, given the fact that I'm carrying so much damn camera gear, it'll be nice that I won't have to hike very far. And uh, should be there any minute. Well, I made it to the car. As you can see, it's a pretty beat up old car, covered in bullet holes and graffiti. But I'm a little bummed out because it's a lot drier than I thought it'd be. Um, I guess we've gotten even less rain than I thought we did. So there's hardly any color. There's almost no greens and nothing really. It's just brown. And uh, that's going to be tough for color, but it's also going to be tough for black and white film. There's not really any tonal differences between subjects here. So um, I don't really know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to hope for the best as the light fades, but even right now the light's absolutely hideous. Uh, the shadows are too strong, the light is too bright. So, um, so far not so good, but I uh, guess we gotta hope for the best. So, now we wait. After waiting around for a little while to see if the light was gonna get any better, I started to realize that the conditions probably aren't gonna improve at all. So. I loaded up my Mamiya 6 with some Ilford Delta black and white film and just started shooting detail shots, close-ups and textures and that kind of thing. I find that photos like these are much more forgiving of ugly light, so although they may not be the photos I originally set out to take, I felt like this is the best I could do with the conditions I had. Sometimes when nature gives you lemons, you just gotta make lemonade. That's what I tried to do here, so although the color photos didn't turn out at all, at least I came home with a few good black and whites. All right, well, I'm coming to the end of a roll here. I'm shooting a roll of Kodak Portrait 160, no filters or anything, just um, using the natural light here. And uh, got one frame left, and I'll be honest, uh, this shoot has been a little bit of a letdown. Um, I was hoping for much more lush, more beautiful scenery. Uh, the compositions just aren't blowing me away. I'm just not jiving with the scene, but you know, it happens, it's no big deal. Uh, it's always a real bummer when you get out and you put all this time and energy into a shoot like this and uh, you're, you're real jazzed, you say you're going to get the best shots you've ever gotten um, and you get out here and it just kind of falls flat. But, um, you know, the way I see it, 
the sweet isn't as sweet without the sour. So the really sweet photo shoots wouldn't feel as sweet if we didn't have these sour ones sprinkled in to kind of give you an idea of how good it is when it is good. So um, even though this shoot hasn't been amazing, it's still not a total loss because it'll make me appreciate the next good shoot that much better. So I'm going to expose this final frame, pack up my gear, and head on out. So thanks for coming along with me on the shoot. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully the next shoot is going to be a little more rewarding than this one was. But I'm Nick Carver, and until next time.